Welcome back as the goosebumps continue. We are embarking on a journey um, through celebrating sports as we delve into the extraordinary life and career of a true South African hero in my mind, the accomplished swimmer and incredible human being, Natalie Detoy, overcoming obstacles and achieving unparalleled Paralympic success. Get ready to hear just a little snippet of her story firsthand. Natalie, thank you so much for being here. Um, I love the fact that we keep reconnecting. It's been a while since we've reconnected, but I was there at the beginning when all of this happened, but I wasn't there at the start of you. Where did this come from? What was the sporting? Was it a competitive thing? Was it a, a talent thing? Where did this fire first start burning? Interestingly enough, I despise swimming um, really? as a little kid. So if there are any little kids out there and you don't like swimming, I was one of those, and I just one that. day, my brother was a swimmer, and one day I just decided I wanted to swim, and that was it, it was, was my, ma my mind was made up, and I was gonna swim. So With an older brother? An older brother. Ah, you see, yeah. that competitive spirit yeah. then gets kicked in, and then you've gotta compete against that for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. um, then you get your plan, you get the, the, the kind of notion of where you can take this thing, and then life happens, bam. Accident, life changed forever. Was there a moment where you picked yourself back up? Was there a person or was it a series of events? How do you then realign that focus to become a world beater? You know, I always like to say that you pick yourself up every day and you choose mm. to be positive and you choose to carry on and do the things that you want to achieve. Um, we've all heard the word believe this morning a number of times. Yeah. Um, and until you believe it yourself, I don't always believe that you will achieve what you want to achieve. It doesn't mean you have 10 people supporting you. They're there and they're amazing to support you. But... I think for me, their role was to get me to believe as for well. Sure. Um, and I think that has been really special. It hasn't just been about me. Um, part of it is making sure that my leg goes from the start of the race to the finish of the race, because in open water, we finish in a different place. Different space, um, yeah. And just for me mentally, crazy, you know. Yeah. So I think, yeah, you know, it is, it is a group of people. It has been opportunities that have come my way. Um, and it has been just a timeline of things happening as they were meant to, when they were meant when to. When you're ready. And when you're ready, yeah. You know, in sport, they always say that it's about how many kilometers you build your base. Um, and it's the kilometers and the hours that you put in, your mental strength, um, and everything that culminates on one day in order to achieve something. So um, every day you wake up and you choose to, you to be yeah. good and to be happy and to be positive. Or just to get out of bed if you're not feeling good or positive. Or, or make up the yeah. bed. <laughs> um, completely. Well, we haven't got there yet, but we will. Um, it's your journey, a fiercely personal journey that you've got to go in, that everyone is joining you on. And that to me is a dynamic that I've struggled to wrap my head around because I know so many of you personally. How do you bear that weight of expectation of having a nation playing out all of their baggage through you? And now suddenly we're going to undo 20 years of wrongs with one gold medal. Do, do you feel it like that? Or are you that kind of natured person who can hyper-focus and, and rise above that? You know, I think one of my coping mechanisms is to block out things, um, okay. which I've only learned over the years is that's how I deal with something. But, you know, at the end of the day, I think it is... Um, I, I'm an introvert completely, so... I had to learn to go out there and speak to people. Be everybody's and, natural, and, yeah. Yeah, you know, you don't, you don't ask for it. It happens. Um, and if you had to ask a sports person or, a, you know, someone that's achieved something and you ask them why they've achieved it, I think about 79%, they did a study, 79% said that they, they did it because people said they would never be able to. Wow. Um, so I think that a lot of top sports people have a lot in common. Um, and a lot of it is not wanting to fail, I guess. Um, and failure is a, a terrible word, but it's we all necessary. fail at some point in to, time yeah. um, in order to achieve. Yeah. Um, very quickly, one moment, best moment of your career, of your life. Can you single that down into one? Okay. Qualifying for the Olympics after 22 years. Um, hard work, perseverance, tough challenges, changing strokes, swimming open water. Um, and eventually coming top four in the world to be able to qualify for the Olympic Games. So definitely the defining moment in my life. Yeah, and it defined many of our lives at that time. So thank you so much. I've drawn inspiration from you more times than I can actually remember. Um, we love you, girl. Thank you so much for just being everything that you are and continually pouring that energy, that love, that spirit back into not just South African sports, but South Africa. We are so privileged. I am so privileged to have been a part of your generation. Thank you so much. Thanks, well, a little bit ahead of yours, but, you know. <laughs>